if we didn't get to that deeper layer of people's lived experience, this technology will fail to be helpful. What we're trying to do is democratize healthcare to people who have very few resources. In order for the education model to work, technology has to happen. How can we make the device at a low enough cost that it's affordable, but still be sustainable for cervical cancer screening? If the patient sees it and just thinks it looks scary, they are going to feel it is uncomfortable. We've got to build this tampon my camera. I could really develop tools that could bridge technology gaps in healthcare. The idea of that doorway to life can be lifted up and represented in powerful and beautiful ways. The problem is there's a disparity. Why is there a disparity? Because women aren't showing up, even when care is available. Unfortunately, people don't come for screening when they don't want to know their status at all. They are scared. No matter how long you live after a diagnosis, you did live. You did live. That's what I keep telling myself. You did live. The stories around me. I was like, I saw my cervix, I saw my cervix. Your cervix can talk, what would it say?